There is a reason why Sydney is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. But, for those who live here, or simply need to get from a to be anywhere near the central business center, conditions can quickly turn less than ideal. Actually, it may be a bit of a headache to drive around the city, which is why a brand new roadway is being built beneath the harbor to reduce traffic. Western Harbor Tunnel is the name of this $5 BN project. Unexpectedly, it turns out to be a different tunnel under Sydney Harbor, this one extending further to the west and providing a much-needed additional route around the CBD. The Western Distributor Roadway, the Old Harbor Tunnel, and the Harbor Bridge will all see a 35%, 20%, and 17% reduction in traffic, respectively. Phase 1 of the Construction Road header tunneling equipment is being used during Stage 1 of construction, which started in the middle of 2022. The original Harbor Tunnel was constructed using the same method in the early 1990s, and the segment that would pass beneath the water would be an immersed tube tunnel. To do this, a sizable trench would need to be dug on the bottom of the harbor, into which prefabricated tunnel segments would be dropped, and the trench would then need to be covered. At either end of the crossing, sizable temporary work sites were planned to make this all possible. They would be employed for everything from creating the tunnel segments to building the cofferdams and getting rid of waste. There were worries that the dredging project would release a cocktail of chemicals into the harbor. Thus the tunnel's construction system was altered in between phases of work. Phase 2 of the construction. A pair of tunnel boring machines are working on the underwater section of the excavation. These machines need to be a massive 16 meters in diameter to dig holes large enough for a six-lane roadway. Compare that to the TBMs that were used to build the Sydney Metro and the Westgate Tunnel in Melbourne. There are difficult ground conditions to overcome, as well as the need for the TBMs to dig farther than the immersed tube tunnel would have. The location's weak geology, which can make deep tunneling problematic, will utilize a mixed shield TBM because of this. The earth under Sydney Harbour is made up of a variety of materials and has high soil and water pressure, making them perfect for excavating a tremendously large hole in such an environment. Hence, switching to TBM means no longer needing dredging and eliminating the requirement for two of those building sites, as well as reducing costs. Sydney's $5 billion tunnel U-turn is one of the examples of the benefits and drawbacks of a significant infrastructure project that will be able to significantly impact the city's traffic but will be expensive, turbulent, and time-consuming to complete. It will significantly reduce traffic over the Harbour Bridge. The new technology of the Mix Shield will help in better construction which will be done underwater and will neglect the use of cofferdams which will be troublesome for the people living nearby and so it is going to be a user-friendly project. As Sydney being a tourist place, it will also ease out for the local drivers to move around with the tourists in less time as it is a 9-kilometer long tunnel, specifically Twin Tunnel, which connects the M1 Pacific Motorway at the Warunga to the hills of M2 Motorway at the West Pennant Hills in Sydney North. Do you think Sydney's $5 BN tunnel U-turn will work? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we reach the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.